So we've just added some beautiful Indian elephants in the last episode and they've just entered their the habitat and it's currently quite a barren, not, not wasteland, but grassland, I guess. Um, it's not really fit for their needs. They need some swimming area. They need different terrain types. And in fact, let me quickly um, knock up the terrain type so it looks a little bit more like what they're going to want. Okay, now they're a bit happier with the uh, the soil type, but they do need some water and they do need um, some shelter. Shelter, I think we can fix fairly easily because I'm going to add in um, a nice big uh, habitat shelter. Beds and shelters. We've got the biggest one that they, we have, which we've used in our giraffe habitat. I think I might put this over here where there's kind of like a natural uh, backing over here and kind of build it into the terrain actually like that and that way when we get the monkeys into the habitat they'll be able to climb onto the roof which i think is quite cool um let's put it there that should give a reasonable amount of shelter let's just see if it's enough yes it is because they've still got most of the roof covered there i'm gonna add some bedding in quickly while we're here okay that's a reasonable smattering of of uh, hay for them to sleep on. The uh, the other animals we're going to need though for this habitat to really know how to build it out are the proboscis monkeys. And these are strange looking ones. Oh wow. Okay. Let's uh, let's see what kind of group sizes they're in. Um, there's no there's no males. Which it, we will get males eventually, but it's odd that we don't have like any for sale. Oh, we're already on them. We need three to twelve. So I think we should definitely grab these three females while we can see them. Oh, dangerous animals escaped. Oh, I think it's an elephant. I can't believe the plan was to put grade three, <laughs> grade three fences on this habitat and then to put rocks. This was literally my plan and I just forgot to put the rocks in. I have no idea how I managed to do that. Let me emergency capture the elephant and then I'm gonna add in a layer of rocks in what habitat do they like? Uh, Asia, grassland, tropical, and temperate. And let's see what the proboscis monkeys will like as well. They're tropical and aquatic. So let's just go for tropical Asian rocks. Let's add some of these around the edge so that they can't break out. I'm just gonna jump over here because unfortunately Max and Sarah have both died. We've lost two dogs, which is incredibly sad, um, but they will be missed. And we've got some vet research complete. So the Himalayan brown bears have started being researched, which is great. So we're gonna carry on doing that, leave our vets to carry on and uh, go back to our elephant habitat. Now we also need to, while we're here, add in this habitat into the Asia middle. Uh, work zone. So we're just going to add that in here and into the zoo work zone. And we also need to add in all of our uh, guest bits over here that we didn't add in, like our restaurant and our facilities. And a little bit more research for the pangolin. Now I just want to check where the elephants can walk because I don't think they can get to the barriers now, now that we've put these rocks in, other than there, but they can't actually... Let's move this one up. We've got the lemurs are very hungry. So what I'm going to do is there's a, there's a keeper literally about to feed them. I'm going to just make sure that all of our staff are trained up to the max and uh, they should be able to, they should be able to feed them a bit quicker and, uh, you know, get there in time, do the rest of their, their route more efficiently. Now we've got one of the elephants kind of stuck in the box. Can we move them to there? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. 
So let's just check where these guys can walk. I don't think they can get out now. I think the, the rocks have kind of kept them in. And I might go around and just touch up the rocks so they, they look slightly better. But I don't think it's bad what we have here. And as long as we shrink them down a little bit so the guests can see, um, can see a bit better, then I think it's absolutely fine. Okay, I think that's quite good. I think if we um, if we move, if we just add a few more up here that kind of make it look like it naturally goes into the terrain, um, then I don't think there's going to be much of a problem. I think that's kind of fine. Um, just making it look a bit more natural, really, at this point. I actually, I wasn't sure how well it was going to work. And, and the, the reason for this is just to keep it kind of more eco-friendly. Um, if possible. And I know using a bunch of rocks doesn't really meet that description either. But when when you need something stronger than wood and you need something that's either rock based or something, you know, like it's better than using concrete. You know, we're, we're putting it in. We've also we're also using wood, which can be replaced. That's the barriers for the other animals. So we're not kind of using rocks unnecessarily uh, here, if, if that makes sense. At least that's how I'm viewing it. And it's a bit different as well. It's a bit of something of interest. We can have a little like rock pool over here. Um, I'm just going to add a few more rocks to make it look a bit more natural and then put some probably. Oh, we're about to inbreed. Let's stop doing that. Um, don't want to be doing that. Thank you. We're still hungry. Have we got a keeper feeding you? As we speak, there is a keeper right there with food. So I'm going to say you just need to eat probably. And that's not really our fault. <laughs> So I'm also going to send our monkeys into quarantine because we need them to start to be tested by our vets to see if they're like they're OK, if they have any injuries, if they've got any illnesses. Uh, Echo, one of our penguins, is about to die. It's very sad. They look like they're living the time of their life. Oh, oh, no, they've died. But oh, oh, no, that's a that's a strange position to, to go in, but it is what it is. Fudge's welfare. What's wrong with your welfare? Oh, you seem to have jumped onto the path somehow. Let's just move you out there. Don't worry. That's never happened, which is odd. Now, the elephants are bored and are doing massive poops. And I think that's because they don't have enough uh, interest in their habitat. I think the habitat's big enough for sure. It's got, it's 4,275. So it's definitely more than they need. Once we add the monkeys in, that's going to go down a little bit. And I'm going to add some nature in, which is also going to take it down a little bit. Um, we've just lost pepper as well. But our, our lemurs are reproducing massively. So we've got many, many lemurs. I don't know why you're protesting fudge, because fudge is absolutely fine right now. Fudge is having the time of their life. I'm going to say they'll go soon. <laughs> and that's not our fault. So while we wait for our monkeys to all pass quarantine, and one of them has already passed, oh, we're losing the lemurs, but I'm going to have to just uh, carry on because they all keep going one, one after the other. Um, whilst we're waiting for that, I'm going to build a toilet into here as well because I realised I missed that when I built this little guest area, and they've not really got a toilet around this side. Oh, they've got one. Is that a toilet? No, no, it's a, star, it's a keeper heart and a staff room. So I'm going to add another of these toilets over here and try and slot it in somewhere. And we're about to inbreed with our buffalo. I think, seeing as our male is um, still quite young, I'm going to release this animal into the wild. So we've got 45 credits from this young female, which is brilliant. We're breeding so many, so many animals now. Um, all of them are past quarantine, which is great. Um, our toilet block's inaccessible. I don't think it is. Ah, oh, there's no power, that's why. Okay, well that's fine, because we're going to add some more power in anyway to do this. So, let's get another solar panel. Now, I just need to move this bin out of the way. Let's put it here. And look at our vet research, because we've just done some vet research. So, Komodo dragons are doing really well. Have we got any food enrichment? Toy enrichment, toy enrichment. No, we haven't. Well, we might as well add the toys in, because they're right here. Um, so let's go enrichment items and type in Komodo 
Uh, thank you guys for telling me about this as well. I didn't realize you can you can type it in the search bar here. It never seemed to, like it doesn't present any options. So it doesn't look like that's a feature, but you can actually type it in and it will filter by the species that can use it rather than having to filter the old way and uh, go down and select, ah, oh, Komodo dragon, like, which is quite long when you've got quite a lot of animals <laughs> um, as, the, uh, as the DLCs keep coming out and the roster keeps getting bigger. We're going to add in a large ball and a large snowball into their habitat. So they've got a couple of toys to play with, which I'm sure they will be very appreciative of. They've got 100% toy enrichment. They just need some food enrichment. So we're going to leave our researchers to carry on, carry on and get that done. I think we should definitely move our monkeys into the habitat now. Um, so let's grab them from quarantine. All three and move you across. If you have any name suggestions that you want for the elephants or the monkeys or any other animals in the zoo, please do put it in the comments because I do read them and I will add them to the name list and they will eventually make their way into the zoo. Look how cute they are. I mean, I wouldn't sit next to your poop necessarily, but if you want to, who am I to say? Who am I to say? Let's add some enrichment in for these guys while we wait for the monkeys because... Um, Indian elephant... Otherwise, they're just going to be very bored. And we've got loads. Wow, okay. So we're going to have a hanging barrel feeder here. Oh, no. I think we might do some water over here. Because if my memory serves me right, the water... Oh, it's there. So it could be anywhere, actually. Okay, well, let's put a hanging feeder here. A fixed roller feeder here. And a large barrel feeder over here. And then we can have sprinkler maybe over there. Skittle, a large snowball up here, and a large ball. You can always move these later, and maybe a rubbing pillar up the top as well. What is wrong with your welfare, my friend? You're starving. Well, should we just move you over to where there's some food? Is there food in here? No. Okay, so there's a serious issue. Okay, that keeps coming up, I think. Let's have a look at this work zone. I think this is the Africa middle work zone. And how many staff have we got assigned to it? Let's have a look at that. Keepers are here. Okay, so let's have a look at our keepers. Now it says that the Africa middle, it says that they're running on an efficient work, work zone. So like everyone's, everyone's happy in that. There's two keepers on it. They're all fully trained up. They should be absolutely fine. Uh, I'm starting to wonder why that's why it's the case that they're not. I don't know whether there's just too many. Oh no, there's not that many of each of them now. Um, let's have a look at the red rough lemurs. We've got quite a lot of red rough lemurs actually. Maybe they, yeah. I think the problem might be that there's there's just becoming kind of too many animals in here at once now. So I might start to release some of these into the wild. If we release these to the wild, let's see what we get. We get 37 credits. That's pretty good. Um, we've got young adults. Tell you what, let's take... Because all of these are going to be related as well. Let's get all the ones that are adults that are a bit younger. I'm going to release all of these. We've got Rick and Mort. I know, Mort and Maurice, isn't it, from Madagascar? I think that's probably good. Let's release these. And then we can, we can at least reduce the amount of uh, animals that need to be fed. Have a look at the ringtail. I imagine there's quite a few as well. Um, there's not loads, but there are some. And this one's using contraception now because she's related to the others. So let's let's release you into the wild. That's two. Can we not release the male? Can we not go with the others? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's release him as well. And okay, that's probably good. Yeah, we'll leave the, we'll leave the others in there. There's quite a lot of red rough lemurs, and the black and white rough lemurs are the ones that are the most critical need of of reproduction. So we've released a lot of an animals into the wild, though, which is perfect. There we go. We've got one of our rewards as well. Um, this is the whole purpose of the zoo, so it's definitely a good thing that we're doing this. Hopefully, our monkeys will get here soon as well. Oh, as I speak, I think that's one of them now. Let's see what they look like. That is going to be so weird. They look so weird from the picture of them. <laughs> Hello, little strange thing. Oh, they are a bit weird. 
How interesting. And they like being in the habitat with the Indian elephants, which is really cute. I love it when there's like interspecies bonuses. Oh, the elephant's running away. <laughs> um, it is very cute. Oh, protesters have arrived. Why is that? Oh, it's because of. Oh no, one of our one of our has died. Bless them. We'll send a vet for them. I'm going to ignore the protesters as well because the issue is going to be resolved. They just the animals just need to be fed, and I'm sure they'll have been fed by now as well. It's just like slightly lagging behind, which is a bit annoying. Um, we've got three females. We could always get a fourth as well. I think maybe we'll get. Uh, how old are you? Eleven. Maybe we'll get the youngest one as well send them to quarantine and then we've got four females and when we get a male they can start breeding I'll send you to quarantine and now let's have a look at what type of land they will require so what kind of terrain do you like they want more long grass and the elephants are fine with more long grass as well okay so let's add in some more long grass into the whole area okay that is a kind of makeup that they're all happy with. So I think we'll we'll leave it there for that. The monkeys need climbing area and the elephants need swimming area. So they have lots of different divides. I think we should put in a nice, uh, maybe a couple of little swimming area pools. And then we could even have some climbing areas that extend over them so they can kind of be together. That'd be quite cool. So I think I'm going to do that now. Okay, so we've got a nice couple of pools of water now. I'm hoping that's gonna... Oh, can they not access it? Is that the issue? No, it's it's way more than they need. So I think they're quite happy with that. Um, let's see how much space the monkeys need as well. Oh, they've got so much space. Um, let's have, Let's build in a bit more climbing area. Okay, I think that's quite a lot of uh, construction we've just built there. I'm hoping that's enough for them. I'm sure it is. Oh, they only need 60 meters. <laughs> okay, so they're definitely fine then. Uh, we've got a few, ooh, facility and accessible. Is that to do with power? No linked tables. Oh, we never linked the tables. Oh, that was silly of me. Okay, so tables, let's link the tables and then just, can we just drag all of them? Oh, we have to click them individually. Okay, so we've got five tables there. Let's confirm the link. There you go. Now it can use the tables and it's not going to lose loads of money. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave that as it is though for now. So we can delete that notification. Um, our ring died. Let's call the vet. Bless them. Poor thing. Again, we've got some hungry horses. Hungry, hungry horses. 
but oh look how many babies there are oh my goodness wow these are breeding like crazy wow that's amazing for for endangered animals this is incredible look at the elephants are the elephants still happy that's my main worry yes they are and they've got lots of water to play in and it's not really obstructed by the monkeys climbing stuff either and the monkeys i want to check if the monkeys can escape because yeah they can i mean i know they can actually because we haven't put climb proof on all of our barriers which we do need to do so i'm just going to quickly add that now Okay, we've now got climb proof on all of those, which should be good. We also need to move one of our elephants in here. I think because of the rocks, when the elephants like revert back to the start, they can't quite like fit. So then they just end up being boxed up. Um, diseased animal, that's not good. Let's get some vets in. Oh, does this mean Howard's a big boy? <gasps> I think Howard's grown up. Look at him, he's a young adult. Oh, it's adorable. And then we've got Pippi Longstocking's elderly, but we've got Beanstalk is an adult, so you can definitely breed with Beanstalk. And that is what we want. Oh, look how adorable they are. Oh, so cute. I love them. <laughs> They're so, so cute. Oh, we've got our fourth monkey as well, which is brilliant. So let's move them across. Let's check on, why have you got low welfare space? Oh, it's because there's three of them. Ah, oh, that's why. It's because their baby's grown up. Right, that's the crowding. Okay, we're going to release you into the wild. We've bred our first red panda. Baby panda? Red panda. That's amazing. We've just bred our first red panda and released him to the wild. So, very proud of that. It could be that these guys have too many um, of the same. Like, they've got too many red rough lemurs in here. It's probably the case. Let's check on them, because I think, actually, they're only supposed to have one male as well, which we've definitely not been doing, <laughs> um, which is bad. We should be doing that. Yeah, one male and 29 females, so there's too many males. I'm going to just... Uh, Loaf is still fertile, so I'm not going to release Taco because he's elderly and infertile, but I'm going to release Maurice, 33. The ring-tailed lemurs and the black and white rough lemurs both, I suppose, have one male, so... We just basically need to get rid of any of the additional males. Um, currently, this male is elderly and infertile, so we're not going to get rid of him. Um, we're going to leave one that can breed, um, but we're going to keep we're going to keep the same. We're going to keep Taco because he's old, but we're going to release these. So we've got Anso. We're going to release. Let's just check on this one whether he's related. So he's related to Taito or Tito. Um, we do just need to make sure we release them then in that case release Taito slash Tito and then there's still two there's a breeding pair in here that can carry on and breed after Dwarrel uh, passes away then for our red rough lemurs Loaf who are you related to my friend you've got many children in here okay so Jinx needs to go uh, Jinx needs to be released because we can't have them breeding with his child. We've got a few, we've got a couple of elderly infertile lemurs, which I'm just gonna leave because we can't release them to the wild in that state and they're not doing anyone any harm. We're gonna get rid of this lemur here because he's a young adult, 64 credits, not too shabby. We're getting quite a lot of conservation credits for this as well, which is amazing. And then we've got quite a lot of kids, but when they grow up, they will, um, they'll be released or we'll use them for breeding. It depends who their parents were. And we can go back to our elephant and monkey habitat. They have absolutely no nature in here, which is so boring and also not the best for them. I'm just trying to make sure that all their other needs were met first. So we're still missing some enrichment. Oh, we're about to inbreed with Emmy. So perhaps then as, oh no, he's, he's not the right one. Okay, you're gonna be released into the wild, my friend because he's one of the young boys that's, bro that's grown up. Who is Bramble related to? Are there any adults? Yeah, okay, we've got a few adults. Um, goodness, they're all as children. Had so many. 
Well, how old is Bramble? Oh, he's elderly now. Okay. I think maybe we just whack Bramble on contraceptives. Take all the females off um, who are currently on contraceptives. And then when Bramble passes away, this is the plan. When Bramble passes away, we'll get a new male in and they can breed with all of the females. Because Bramble's had quite a lot of kids now. And he's he's an elderly fellow and he just needs to not be uh, having more babies now. Uh, we do still need a male giraffe. This might be worth looking for one. Reticulated giraffe. Ooh, we've got some females and we've got some... I got low, Look how expensive the albino ones are. Um, I'm not sure we've got any that we're going to be wanting though. So just a lot of females. Yeah, I, I don't think that's that's what we're after. We'll, we'll have another look later and we can see whether we get any. Um, our guided tour is still having serious issues. I think it's just because our people aren't able to do it well enough. Um, let's have a look because it may be that I've underdone it with the amount of educators we need. We've currently got one, two, two educators on it. And we, the Asia entrance and the African middle need more. Well, I think our zoo is doing well financially, generally. Oh, we've not made a profit in this quarter. I'll tell you what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to stop the expensive marketing because then that reduces our costs there. I think it's fine. We need to improve our ticket price anyway, like massively. So I think this is fine. Oh, to be honest, our, our comments are, are quite decent. It just means... Uh, they're just saying that we need more guest facilities, which is exactly what we're putting in. So let's up the ticket price to 54. And what's half of 54? 27. And then <laughs> that was quick math. I could do that. Uh, interesting that the uh, the iguana and the giraffe are our favorite, uh, the most popular species. You'd think the elephants would have taken top. Uh, I, giraffes, fair enough, but that's really interesting. Hopefully our profitability will go up and then maybe we'll hire some more staff because I don't want to hire more if we're currently like in a bit of a deficit or if it's a bit unstable. Um, it's probably also not raking in as much money as we could be because we haven't put any donation bins in for our elephants yet. So we're going to do that now. We're going to put in some benches and some bins for our elephants and our monkeys. Okay, we've added those in. Hopefully they'll bring in some more money. Um, we've still got donation bins around. Like you can see how much money they... Oh, they're not bringing any money over here. You can see how much money they normally bring in though. Um, oh, we need to put some more uh, in here. That's also why our horses aren't very well um, like monetized, you might say. <laughs> Let's add this in here for any guests that watch the tour. Oh no, Dominic's died. He's our, he's our male... Uh, Oryx, he's like our adult male. I don't think we've got any others um, in the habitat. No, we've got a young male, so we need a new adult male, which is just crazy. We haven't had one of these in ages. So we need the, oh wait, scimitar horned Oryx. Oh, there's a male right there. Oh, he's not the best. Oh, they have zero facility. We can improve, like it, it won't be zero because we have unlocked some stuff, but I think we're probably better to wait for a male that's actually got some fertility. <laughs> oh, and I think the uh, the young male's just matured, actually. And that's just happened as we've been talking about them. Yeah, one of them has. Okay, we're going to need to get rid of this one, though, because they're going to have... They're all going to be parents and siblings. So let's release you into the wild. Young buck. 70 credits. That's great. Um, you've been in a box for too long. Well, get out of the box. And Snow's died. Oh, poor Snow. You will be missed. It's another penguin death. Um, from our initial wave of penguins. <laughs> Look at the zoo. Look how the zoo's shaping up now. It's massive. It's, you know, it's definitely getting there. Our finances are definitely fine as well, thinking about it now. I think it was just right at the start of the year we made some purchases and stuff, which pulled it down. But we're definitely fine. Um, and I do think that it would probably be a good idea to get some more, uh, maybe just some more educators to help out. I'm trying to look at who's overworked and it looks like our keepers are on the Africa entrance and our keeper on the Asia entrance. So maybe actually we'll get two more keepers. 
the Asia entrance and the Africa entrance. And we will assign them. I hope I haven't just put them in the wrong ones. <laughs> we'll do them as such. So Africa entrance and uh, where's the other one with no work zone? No work zone. Asia entrance. There we go. And let's have a look at who else is a bit too tired. Our educators are a bit tired doing the tour. Um, and they are almost top level. So it's... Mm, that one could probably just do with a bit more training. This one's Africa middle and they're on high. Just got another educator because we definitely need one for the Africa middle section. So I'm going to put them on Africa middle. And animals died. Oh no, we've got another dog. Marble has just passed away. Oh, they're all going, aren't they? Bob's died as well. The uh, penguin. I'm going to have to stop being emotional about them because there's too many. And there's so many animals now coming in and coming out. <gasps> We're going to have a baby elephant. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Wow, they've just gone in as well. We're going to have a baby already. Another animal's died. Oh, Scotch has died. That's our carpy. Oh, he's been with us for ages. Just about to pass away. Oh, Scotch. Oh, well, we need to make sure we have another Akapi male. Otherwise, it's just the one Akapi in, in the habitat. Let's get this one. Uh, 8.5 years old. You'll be absolutely fine. Let's send you to quarantine and we'll move you in when you're checked and you're all good. I've just paused the game so we don't get any more alerts. And look at the elephants sleeping in their little shelter. How adorable is that? They're so cute. I love them. And look, the monkeys. The monkeys are trying out their climbing. So I'm glad they're all happy in here. Um, the monkeys do need some enrichment though. So they've got nothing at the minute. And we do need to make sure they have something. Proboscis. Let's have a look at what you need. So a block of frozen fruit. This could definitely go somewhere where guests can see. So maybe we'll put that uh, even on a rock. That would be quite cool. We could have it on one of... Where are they going to look? Let's have it on this rock here. Because um, I'm sure they'll be able to access it. Let's put another one over here. And then maybe have a block of ice uh, in back there. Then we can get a rubber duck. Maybe we'll put that in the water over here. Um, let's have a forage box right here in the middle. And then some herb scent markers. Let's add a herb scent marker up the back. So they've got good reason to go back up there. And a colorful ball. And in fact, I think I might move the forage box back up here. So they've got a good reason to come to the back over here. Um, and then put a small barrel feeder in there and maybe a small ice ball just around. I like them to have lots of things and they both like the sprinklers. So they can both use those. That's probably enough. They've got quite a lot of enrichment now. If I play, oh, they just came off. There we go. Yes, they do. Oh, they need a few more toys and they'd be a bit happier. So that's fine. We can easily add those in. Let's put another small ball in. Uh, I think we think we put a colorful ball in. So let's put a small ball. And then, oh, you're getting a bit closer. Right, let's have a look at your enrichment. What do you want? Oh, they just, I think if you add more of the same, it should increase still. So they just need a few more toys, generally. Um, let's put two sprinklers in. Sprinkler times two. Yeah, you get reduced impact, but it's something. In fact, maybe if I if I take the sprinkler out, let's let's do some research on them, and then we can get more. Um, we'll get more stuff then. Oh, there's there's fighting. That's one which I am going to pay attention to. <gasps> We've got loads of them in here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, you need to be sent to quarantine so you're looked after. Um, you're going to have a baby. There's too many of them in here. There's four. There should only be two. So that's really not good. Okay, we've got two pregnant females, though, and an injured anim uh, male. So when they've had their babies, we'll release, we'll release one of them into the wild. Um, but where are they? Birds taper. Yeah, it's only supposed to be one and one. So it really shouldn't have this many in there. I'm hoping that our other tapers are... Yeah, they've got a, a young, they've got a baby, but it's not an adult yet, which is good. Ah, oh, they can't reach it to replace it. That's fine. We can put it down here. Um, let's just whack it there. Even though they can, they can eat it on there, which is really cute. It's just the keepers can't reach it, which, yeah, you know, makes sense. Makes sense. Quarantine's passed. That means we can put our Akapi 
into the Akarpi habitat, which is great. Which is here. Oh, I think I spelled Akarpi wrong as well. There you go. Akarpi's fixed. <laughs> and the next thing we need to do is add some nature into this habitat. Oh my goodness, look at the monkey swimming. They're swimming. I didn't realize they could swim. Um, I'm going to add some nature in so that they're both happy. And seeing as they both like tropical from Asia, and that's the only one they share, I think that's what we're going to put in. Okay, I, give, I think that gives them a little bit of a waterfall, which I thought the elephants would really appreciate because, you know, you know how much they like to play. And I thought that was quite playful. Um, we've generally reduced the land area to 3,500, so we need to be conscious of that. But I think the animals only need 1634 right now, so it should be fine. It's not going to be a problem. I'm trying to find a monkey. I think that was a poo I just clicked on. <laughs> the the monkeys are kind of the size of elephant poops, though, so it's a bit hard to tell. But yeah, it's 1634, one, and the monkeys can navigate a lot more than the elephants can. Uh, but... We've got more than enough, basically, anyway, of this area. I'm going to add a few more rocks and nature in now, and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so we've got the Indian elephants on 38% coverage, which they are happy with, and the monkeys obviously on the same level of coverage, which, oh, that's entertainment, that's not a monkey. Let's click a monkey. <laughs> uh, the monkeys are just happy with it, 38 as well. So it's kind of like, they're kind of at opposite ends of the spectrum on it, but they're both happy with this layout. So I'm quite happy with it. I think it looks cute with all of the, uh, all of the trees we've got. Um, We've got tamarinds, we've got strangler figs, we've got African oil palms, and the beautiful capox. Along with these, like, uh, Aquila, Aquilaria trees. Um, never heard of them before, but they're really cool. They're, like, really thin and long uh, tree trunks. And then all of the stuff at the top is amazing. It's like these kind of, like, jungle tropical plants are really cool because they've got these massive, massive trunks so they can get to the sun above the, uh, the canopy, uh, the canopy line, which is just really cool to have. Um, the lemurs are still hungry. I'm going to request the vet and hopefully they'll come and feed them. Um, I think we might just need to get another vet, another keeper and put them on this work zone as well because it keeps coming up. So I'm going to get a new keeper and add them to Africa middle, which I believe is the work zone they're on. It is. So now we've got another keeper who's going to come in and should help sort things out. Make sure everyone's being trained up too. Um, we've also got some vet research complete. Wow, okay, so we're doing really well in our research now. Have we unlocked anything significant? We've got more education boosts and things like that, which is great. I think we'll probably have to do it in more stages. Um, so Komodo Dragon, the pangolins, got more toys. I think though, as far from my memory, we had most of the stuff for the pangolins already. Um, yeah, we've, they've got quite a lot of toys in there. Let's have a look at there. Ooh, have they got... Is that too many? There's too many adults now. Let's pause because I think young adults grown up. Right, so let's release you to the wild, young adult. 
21. That's pretty good. Now we've got three pangolins again. This more vet research complete. Oh my goodness. Komodo dragons are, are going on. They're going plowing through it. It's amazing. We've got food enrichment for the Komodo dragons. Finally. Finally, we've got some food enrichment for them. So they're going to be overjoyed to actually have an interesting way to eat their food. Let's get rid of this and put Komodo. Oh, wow. We've got rubbing pad as well. Let's put that in near. Let's put that in there. And then a frozen blood pumpkin. Ooh, okay, let's add that right at the front. Put that just there. Um, that should give them a massive boost in stuff. Got a blood pumpkin. That's so cool. Is that a baby? <gasps> There's a baby Komodo dragon. Wow. Look at them go. And obviously our, our adults here. We've got Gummy. <laughs> uh, let's see how happy Gummy is. Right. They've got... 50% so that they're happy they just need a bit more but we can do that we can do that um olive has passed away the penguin it's okay the keeper's coming the keeper's there with food it's 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 really angry that the lemurs are, haven't been fed but look they're, they're putting food in right now everyone come get your food and you won't be hungry look there's loads of food you are being fed, I promise you. We are feeding the levers. <laughs> I think this has turned out to be a really cute habitat though. If you've liked this episode, please give it a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.